industry in the recent weeks. SMT Thermal Discoveries are the experts in thermal processes from minus 50 degrees Celsius up to 450 degrees Celsius. With highly stable reflow soldering systems, vacuum soldering to reduce voiding in solder joints, and whether you need temperature treatment systems with standard equipment or flexible solutions, SMT Thermal Discoveries have the machine to your thermal challenges. Okay, and welcome back. Now I'm delighted to be joined by uh, Yoha from Nano Dimension, uh, which has got probably the biggest merger news at the moment um, in, at the show. Uh, Nano Dimension, of course, recently making the acquisition of Semtech. So uh, welcome, Yoha. Nice to have you with us today. Thank you very much. Should we speak yeah. into this one? Yes, just speaking okay. into that one. So, Tell me first of all, uh, I mean, Nano Dimension obviously cut its teeth with a, a 3D uh, unique system uh, for, for making uh, multi-layer uh, PCBs. Sure. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, why you, you think uh, you, you needed to, you also acquired another AI company, by the way. Yes. In the meantime. So you've got an AI company, you recently acquired a Semtech, which is in, uh, does a tier three and tier four sure. equipment for uh, SMT manufacturing. What's the synergy? Okay, so Trevor, the vision of converting the PCB industry into, let's say, more advanced, more modern, has to deal with two issues. First of all is the fabrication of PCBs, which is a very old, you know, 70, 50 years old process of fabricating it and not too clean, not too efficient, but that's the way it's done. Mm -hmm. But the second part of the PCB industry is the PCBA, the, obviously the yeah. mounting of surface mounts, which by now, the surface mounting became actually, from robotics and automation point of view, more advanced than the fabrication of PCB mm -hmm. over the years. Now, once you come with a solution of changing the old fabrication process, into being inefficient and as such to be by printing 3D. Mm -hmm. You can stick with just printing the board in three dimension, but if you're already where we are in printing the board in three dimension, in multi-layers, in different shapes, somewhere in the process, you have to start to mount units, components, because you're printing in 3D, so sometimes you will print over the units and if you don't mount them on the way, what did you change? You'll end up still having to have boards that are flat because they have to go for mounting. Right. So the vision and the acquisition of SM Tech is the fact that we're going to combine in the automatic process of printing a three-dimensional board. During the process, it will be also mounting the, the units, the components on the board. So okay. think about a board that during, instead of fabrication is being printed, at certain point of time, it, you, you mount uh, automatically, you mount uh, components, you continue to print, you mount more components, you continue to print, until when you finish, comes out from the printing machine, a board 
with mounted components. Right, components. Yeah, so basically you're using the, the, a robot inside a pick and place machine to, yeah. to, to turn the device to keep it planar so that you can mount the, the Yes, and, the, and, the and by the way, SMTech had historically already had the mounting yeah. technology that was from the side, yeah. which they initially developed and then they dropped because the industry was not ready for that. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. we're very excited about now bringing it back mm -hmm. and we will mount on different angles. Okay. Because we're going to print in different angles. Now, the thing is that, that obviously uh, the nano dimension machine uh, for sure. making the boards is a fairly complex piece of equipment. Yes. A fairly expensive piece of equipment too. Yes. So, are you planning to to sell this as as a as a, as a unit to people, uh, a nano dimension machine plus an Assemtech assembly, or are you planning Excellent to run question. it as a service? Excellent question. Two answers to that question, mm -hmm. as usual. <laughs> First of all, initially we will sell the two machines separately, mm -hmm. but we will have a um, robotic connection, so they'll be standing beside each other. So once you finish printing a, c a circuit board, you'll be able to mount and it'll be connected. Mm -hmm. Second, we're going to next generation machine is going to be integrated. In the process, we're going to give services as well. We're already giving services okay. because it's becoming expensive. So, and it's a new technology. So you're in market education. Mm -hmm. So we already have uh, customers that are paying us a few thousand dollars per project. And we have uh, uh, labor actually we call service centers in Germany, in Israel, in the United States, where we exactly do what we do. We give the services. Mm -hmm. And people, once they get used to it and they start to like it, eventually we hope they'll buy a machine. Wonderful, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's, it's, uh, there's quite a lot of parts to that. So when do you think you're going to be up and running with it? Up and running with the services. We're already up and running with the services. Right. The SMTech acquisition happened uh, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So we believe that the combination of the two machines, one beside the other, robotically connected but not integrated, will be somewhere in the middle of the year 2022, maybe toward the end of the year. And right after that, in parallel, we are already so we started before the end of the acquisition mm -hmm. to build a machine that has the SMT already integrated into the machine. So it's not machine standing one beside the other. It'll be one machine that's doing both. Right, right, right. Now, is it your intention to, to keep SMTech um, operating in the way it has been with its existing tier three and tier four customers? Absolutely. We, in, in, we intend, SMTech has a great brand recognition, especially in Europe. Mm -hmm. Plus, they have a beautiful operation in Lucerne Canton, which is by now 20, more than 20 years old. So we intend to continue to serve the customers. Mm -hmm. We intend to take the machines as they are and expand the market in the United States, which they are historically not strong and we are much stronger. Mm -hmm. But in Parallel to that, and serving the existing customers with the existing machines and the new machines are coming, we're going to do the integration I talked to you about in the R&D uh, laboratories, and we'll come with the two generation within this year and toward the end, the beginning of next year. So Excellent. as an operation, SMTech is going to continue to grow because we have we see demand. They're having, they're having great year this year. Mm -hmm very good year and they're expecting even better year next year. Next year. So we're looking forward to, to do that as well. Oh, we're certainly an industry that's um, expanding by application all the time, yes, so yeah, there's no shortage of opportunities, yes, that's for absolutely, sure. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, great. Well, Jod, I want to thank you for coming in and telling us about this today. It's a really exciting uh, announcement. Trevor, I'm, I'm, your questions are excellent. I'm always happy to talk to somebody who I feel understands what he's talking what about. What he's talking about, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, always yeah, a well, pleasure. Well, it's an interesting industry. Well, we're public it? companies. Sometimes I speak with investors, right? Yeah. So investors are great supporters, but not all of them understand what you know. Oh, yeah doing yeah exactly <laughs> absolutely okay thank you so much so there you go so that that brings us to the end of of this morning's uh breakfast at productronica we'll be back in about 30 minutes time with the first of our panel discussions coming from the forum but for now this is trevor galbraith saying thank you for watching